Welcome back, everybody, to Dad Be Hustling channel. My name's John. I'm the dad who's out here hustling, trying to make some side cash by flipping goods from thrift stores, yard sales, to eBay, Poshmark, McCarty, any other marketplace that might be out there as well as Amazon. Uh, this is my dog, Lola Joy. Some of you have, may have seen her. Some of you may not have seen her. Uh, she is my little pit bull mix. I've had her for three years. This is my, this girl is my princess. She's princess, right? So, quick video. I wanted to uh, make this video today because I'm super excited. Today, I got my very first sale on Poshmark. That's right, Poshmark. You know, man, I'm not good. I'm not a good Poshmark because I don't know what to do on that. Uh, I've got a ton of people following me and my voice just cracked like I'm 14. i got a ton of people following me. I'm calling a bunch of people. I'm sharing and I'm sharing and I'm sharing. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. If that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm just trying to follow everybody else's lead. But this sale, I guarantee you that I lost money. And that's okay. Um, I paid for the shirt. and It's a Ralph Lauren blue label. Uh, large, men's large, blue with nice, like a nice plaid. Kind of like what I'm wearing now. Uh, this is Brooks Brothers, by the way, and I did thrift this shirt. So sometimes I do keep the uh, stuff that I thrift for myself. It's not good for business, but I actually really like this shirt. It's a nice shirt. It fits me well, so I'm keeping it. Um, but back to the video, back to the sale on Poshmark. Um, I, I listed the shirt for $12. I don't know if that's where it needs to be. You know what I mean? I've only looked at comps. On eBay, I don't know how to look at comps on Poshmark. Uh, somebody, I saw some other videos of people who are out here reselling. Uh, they do that. They see what's selling on Poshmark. I don't know how to do that. Uh, I have the app on my phone, um, and that's kind of what I've just been scrolling with when I have an extra five minutes here and there between entertaining a nine-year-old and an 11-year-old. And um, so, yeah, when I got that sale, the, excuse me, I listed it for 12 uh, The the lady who, or person who bought it, uh, gave me an offer of eight dollars. So I was like, ah, you know what I mean? I'll meet you halfway. I offered ten. They accepted the offer. Happy days. Did I lose money? Absolutely. When you amortize uh, the listing um, fees that I had to pay to Poshmark to sell on their platform, um, and the time it spent to take the photographs, to put the listing together, to pack up the shirt, to Take it to the post office, ship it. Yes, I lost. I lost money for sure. But the experience that I learned in this sale outweighs the ten dollars that I got paid. You know what I mean? Minus the fees and so on and so forth. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure out what sells, what doesn't sell, what styles. You know, I learned a lot in Ralph Lauren. I learned that there's a purple label black label, a blue label, uh, the Lauren, uh, Lauren uh, which is by Ralph Lauren, which is the green label. Uh, we have Polo Sport and Chaps, and they're all kind of in that order. And I may have missed one in there somewhere. Um, I've only been able to find the blue label Ralph Lauren stuff, and I actually like those shirts. So again, I want to keep some of them. I actually kept one, uh, and I'll wear that for another video down the line. I may sell it. You know, I may sell it down the line, but I really like that shirt for now, so I'm going to keep it. Um, but I'm super stoked to have this sale and, uh, yeah, we're going to keep pushing and keep trying to grow, uh, this little eBay store. If you want to follow my journey, I will put a link to my eBay store, uh, down below. And, uh, I will also link my Poshmark store down there as well. And my Instagram, uh, please follow me on dad underscore B underscore hustling, uh, growing a nice community out there of resellers. Uh, a lot of people are giving me some really good advice and I'm grateful for that. Uh, if you have any hints or if you want me to follow you, please put a comment below and I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to network with you guys. I feel that uh, we are in this together. I don't feel like we're competitors at all. I feel like there is enough um, business out there for all of us to eat a little bit, drain that cake if you want to call it that. And uh, I'll end this video on this. I, I stopped by my uh, local thrift store. There's a thrift store, and I always talk about it in these videos. There's a thrift store between my work, the work that I go to every day, and my home. 
It's a cool little thrift store. The ladies in there are really nice. Uh, they're kind of getting used to seeing me because I'm in there quite a bit. Uh, but today I went in there just briefly because I got out of work a little early because today is New Year's Eve and we secured it out a little bit. So I had an extra little bit of time. And so not only do I sell clothes, but I also pick up hard goods. I've actually sold uh, a few hard goods, uh, DVD players, believe it or not, or Blu-ray players. And um, man, those things, you know, I didn't think people would be buying that stuff, you know, but people are, and they buy it a lot. So I started picking up a lot more hard goods. I do check the comps on eBay before I make a purchase. And I just wanted to show you this really quick. This is a Philips portable DVD player. Uh, it is a little dirty, you know, it's, it's got a white face on it, but you know, it, it's definitely been used and scuffed. And uh, I'm going to clean this up. I found that, um, like stuff like this, that Mr. Clean from Magic Eraser works really well with this kind of thing. Um, I haven't even plugged it in yet. Um, I have seven days. I don't know if it's the same with you guys around the country. If you're Goodwill, it gives you seven days. All the Goodwills here in Broward County, I live in Fort Lauderdale, if you didn't know. Um, all the Goodwill, all the Goodwill stores down here give you seven days to check it out and try it out. A uh, little portable DVD player. Nice. You know what I mean? It's a Philips good brand. Comps on this, brand new, in the box were around 80 to 90 bucks. Uh, used ones like this were going anywhere between 30 and, oh, excuse me, about 25 30 35 dollars somewhere around there. Um, this did not have a price on it when I took it up to the uh, counter. The lady said $8. I said, I'll give you $5. She accepted that, so I, I'm, I'm invested five bucks in this. If I can sell this for you know twenty twenty five dollars plus you know shipping, happy days. But what I'm really stoked about, and I'm going to show you guys this. This is cool, man. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm checking, and I've got a little video that I may link into this, or I may post it later of just me kind of just filming the the shop inside there and how the, the layout is, uh, glassware. Uh, other things, um, you know, home goods and stuff. I don't really dabble in that because I, I don't know that space yet. I'm still learning. I learned that uh, Cutco is a good knife company that you try to look for when you're out there and um, so on and so forth. But I was scanning along and I see, I live in, again, I live in South Florida. Like the winter here is 85 degrees. You know what I mean? The cold, we may get a day where it gets down in the 50s and that's our winter. Don't hate me. I get it. But that's just how it is. That's why I live down here. But uh, I found these skates, a pair of them. Who would have thought this would be in South Florida, right? I mean, we do have a hockey team here, but I didn't think anybody would be ice skating down here. So I don't even know how to say this name. I'll spell it for you, D-A-O-U-S-T. These are Super 99 skates. Uh, when I checked the Kylo, When I checked the comps on these skates, um, this exact one, this same one, sold for yesterday for 180 bucks with like 20 or $30 shipping. There were probably 30 sales of these skates within the last five days. The cheapest one that I saw was about 59 bucks or something like that. And it was not, it was this brand but not this style of skate. I don't know jack about these skates, man. I don't know anything about them. But I saw that and I was like, I'm picking them up. And I'm gonna do a little bit more research on these and um, and put them up there, man. See if I can, you know, sell them. Um, yeah, I paid 10 bucks. I paid 10 bucks for these, man. So, you know, I think it's worth an investment. So I'm gonna list them. I'm gonna research, then list them. Try to get some shipping out of it too, so because I don't know what these things are going to cost me to ship. I'm still learning that as well. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, please follow this journey. Uh, this journey is going to go for one year. It's full disclosure. I'm going to tell you how much I bought it for. I'm going to tell you how much I sold it for. I'm going to tell you how long it sat on my eBay store. Um, I'm going to tell you about the good wins. I'm going to tell you about the bad losses. Uh, I'm going to tell you, man, I suck at this particular thing, or I'm, I'm learning this space really good. I find that, you know, when I first got into this, a buddy of mine said, you really need to look for the very unique, uh, I got to wrap this up, the very unique items, you know, because like when I first got started, I was just buying this and that, and 
name it. I'm just picking it up. Uh, I've learned my lesson not to do that. So uh, we're going to continue this journey learning as we go. I want to be able to make the mistakes that you guys don't have to make these mistakes. Uh, and let's grow together. Thank you so very much. And you guys have a great day. Happy New Year. Bye. Yeah.